welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new hi i am mand so today's video i'm going to chat a little bit about my deck crushes now i don't know if this is a tag or what but what with valentine's coming up i really want to share the decks that i've really been crushing on and i really really love i am going to mention one that i haven't worked with but i am super excited and <laughs> But before we get into any of that, if you love all things tarot and oracle related, I do flip throughs here, I chat about decks, I show different pairings, all that kind of stuff, spirituality, witchy, arts and crafts and all that kind of stuff. So if that's your jam and you kind of like chit chat videos, then this is the channel for you. Do hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you part of the community here. It is such a wonderful little space here i'm so super proud of it and it's ever growing space i'm just <laughs> always blown away so thank you all so so much to those of you that have subscribed and those of you that will subscribe so do hit the bell as well so you'll be notified of when i upload and without further ado let's get into the video because i don't want this to be too too long either at the same time so grab a snack grab a drink and we'll get into the video the tarot first and the first deck that i am absolutely loving and crushing on massively is tarot of the witch's garden by sasha graham and the artwork is by natasha i won't butcher your name but i'll just put this over here for a minute but this is the one i'm currently working on at the moment i haven't actually done a video yet of the decks that i'm planning on working with in february this this month has been absolutely mental these are the back I have done a walkthrough of this video, but I am so enjoying working with this. I love, love, love the artwork on this. It's so good. Do you know what? I've never thought about actually pairing this with the, or have I? You know, this, this is the thing when you have, I wouldn't say too many decks, but a lot, a lot of decks. Is that you forget what ones you've paired it with. So I, I do feel like this would work beautifully with the Witch's Compendium. And I do have that deck and I do enjoy it. And I've never thought of actually pairing these together. But I'm definitely like crushing massively on this deck. It's one of my favourites. I haven't actually, believe it or not, included the Green Witch Tarot. Even though everybody knows that is an absolute love of mine. I genuinely love this so much. Or love that deck so much. But I love this. It's really falling into that kind of fantasy era and I'm currently reading A House of Flame and Shadow, the third book in the Crescent City. And this 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 deck is great. I feel like if you're um a lover of fantasy and fae and all that stuff, then this this is the deck. Honestly. Okay, that's actually giving me a an, an idea. <laughs> but yeah. I love I know, yeah, I love that death card. How how beautiful is that? Crushing on. And it'll come as no surprise. It's definitely one I'm going to work with this month. Is my Starman Tarot. Are we even surprised? Probably not. I actually wanted to show the guidebook. Because this is the limited edition one. This is the one in the big huge box. I will actually pull out the box one of these days. For a video so you guys can see it. It's, it's huge. But I love the guidebook on this. As you can see, you have your illustration and then you have like your description and then, you know, reversal and then upright and then it just goes into the explanation. It's such a great book. I really love it, but I love this deck so much. I feel like it's such an underrated deck. It really is. And I'm like, I love how many of you comment, go, yay, it's the Star Starman Tarot. I'm like, yes. Oh, like yay more people love it as much as i do i am genuinely half tempted to get just the regular size one but then like i always say i'm always okay it is kind of glossy it's low scarabeo deck by david de angelis and esther de angelis um that's the decks we all know what they look like <laughs> but i know you can the the um the names of the cards are on the bottom. As you can see, look, it is genuinely a very loved deck of mine. But this is a deck I don't ever think I'll stop crushing on. 
I'm sorry about the over the the, the big light is on um because I didn't know how dark this was gonna be here. Oh, okay, this works this way. But I I love this deck. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's again like a really really underrated deck. And trust me, it's one that I was like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, because this kind of gives like Mad Max vibes. If you've watched that movie, the one with um, so Tom Hardy is in it. But I love this. I love this deck. All oh, the readings that this has given me. Oh, it's just oh, so I'm definitely gonna go work with this this uh, this month as well. I kind of want to spend a bit more time with my decks as well although i can't say i've been very good i've been very good in january with not buying decks but this month now has been a different story uh, <laughs> but I, i'm using it as a it's my birthday it's my birthday month so yeah my birthday is the 20th of february so i'm like <laughs> i can treat myself right now Yeah, that is the Starman Tarot that I'm, oh, I just, oh, I love this deck. Tarot deck that I'm crushing on massively is NJ Cunland's The Enchanted for Hoxa Tarot. Now, I got this last year and I kind of was working with it last month. Yeah, I was working with it in January. Oh my gosh. I love it. I mean, like, look, why am I so awkward? <laughs> like, look at the inside of that. Honestly, her decks are just phenomenal. This guidebook, brilliant. So good. Now, the only pictures you get are actually for, like, just the suits. I don't think you have any for the major account. No, so you have the suits. It's a, it's a great guidebook. It really is. And then that's the inside. I do have walkthrough, I think. Excuse me. No, I don't think I do. Actually, I don't think this is one of the decks I didn't do walkthrough. I just got it and I enjoyed it. <laughs> I just wanted to keep this for myself, but obviously show you guys at the same time. Are we focusing or are we just focusing on the deck? I I swear this deck is a character because the minute I go for recording and things like that, it starts acting up. I remember there was one video that I was trying to do for YouTube and no way, no how would the clip with this work so mm, it's definitely something it's something else with this deck but i thoroughly love it and i really enjoy it there's a sass to it there's a no nonsense but there's also a warm hug in the mix as well it's an interesting deck it's one i'm still getting to know and i'm looking forward to working with it more this year to get to know like there's so much in her cards. There's so much in her cards. that I'm like, oh my goodness. They're just like, oh, what's, what am I trying to think of? I'm sorry if this is focusing in and out. I don't, is it because of this? Is it? Nope. It's just this deck, I think. Or is it me? <laughs> anyway, anyway. But it is stunning. I'm just trying to showcase your beauty. Okay, I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to show everybody. But yeah, this... I was working with when I was reading Iron Flame as well. And I was just living for the dragons. So if any of you have like any dragon decks you could suggest. Please send them my way. Please. Because I have yet to find one that I'm like... Mm, yes. <laughs> Oracle decks that I'm currently crushing on. And of course, you guys know I'm gonna to have to mention this because this is the one I'm working with with the witch's um, garden is the Bridget Oracle. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. I love this deck. It is the embodiment of Goddess Bridget, Saint Bridget, whatever way you wanna put that there. It's like a combination of both. It is divine and of course i love the fact that it is made here in ireland and the creators are irish and it's just it's so wonderful to say hello this deck is from ireland it's great because normally like decks are from america or canada or france or wherever so it's it's nice to be able to say yeah this one came from my home country so it's really really cool it's really cool and i love this deck so if you're looking for a deck for 
goddess bridget then yes this is the one for you i love this deck i genuinely have such a crush on this deck honestly i just love it so much oh and i do have a walkthrough of this deck as well if you want to see like look at the colors oh it's so pretty kind of fall in the same category um but i i love them and that is seasons of the witch the maybun oracle could you focus for you a second yes there we go i love this deck i think it's one of my favorites out of the series i'm not really sure i'll just leave that look at that gilding oh my gosh come on now don't be don't be playing here thank you the backs I just love this this is such a beautiful reader oh my gosh it's, it's definitely an easier reader than the Samhain I feel like the the newer ones are easier are a little bit easier to be honest um so I love the art style but I love my I love the Samhain one as well I'm sorry but if you've read A Course of Thorns and Roses does this not give Tamlin vibes anyway or like just how you would imagine the character kind of looks like anyway moving on but this deck is definitely one of my favorites i just love it I, I really really do i'm gonna leave that there because i also want to just showcase just quickly as well quickly mention this is the Imbolg deck i worked with this one. Oh my gosh i'm so excited because she has the litha one is coming out soon you know I'm going to pick that up. I'm 100% going to pick that up. I can't. I can't wait. But this is fab. I'm definitely. I was working with this already at the start of the month. But I didn't want to work with my Bridget deck. But I'm definitely going to be bringing this out again. This is gorgeous. So, so pretty. And there's a lot of depth. And there's a lot of symbolism in the cards. And oh, it's just. I could gush about this forever, but I'm I'm not going to because this video is going to be forever long. <laughs> this uh, video, cheaper as words, that there was a deck that I've been crushing on, but I haven't worked with. Excuse me. Get back. No, you probably guessed already. It's the Tree of Life Oracle. I did, if you see my last video, I did how I cleanse my decks and how I connect it with them. And this was the one I used. As you can see, the card that I actually drew on the video is still at the top. So do go check that video out. Um, I'm gonna put that into the middle. I'm excited to work with this. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out how can I find all the time in the world to work with all the decks that I have. This is beautiful. I have done a walkthrough, but I have to say, I am definitely crushing on this deck, even when I was cleansing it and connecting with it, you know, um, on my video. I was like, this deck is so nice. It wasn't one that I would, again, particularly pick for me, but Jamie had pointed it out, and he was like, oh, I think you should get that. And I did, because it's not that hard to convince me to buy a deck, honestly. It's, it's really not. So, yeah, I can't wait to work with this. I'm curious to see what tarot this one will work with i'm not sure because you see it has major go go check my walk through go check my watch my flip through of it so i'm not sure how this is going to work but i'm curious but it, it, it's so i just love the colors i love the colors in it so yeah i just wanted to mention this it's definitely one that i'm like crushing on for sure <laughs> at least is the winter seer animal oracle oh my gosh i don't know why this is. i love this i love this i love the guidebook on this it is so good so it'll give you keywords all the information and then what it means in a reading so it is packed full with information it's wonderful and i love the way the illustration of the cards are in it and it's just it's so good it's so so good now i know i've shown this deck already i love the backs and i've been looking for oh that's upside down 
the tarot deck that she does that is not coming to my mind. The, is it the Lynn Strider? Lynn Strider? Lynn Strider, I think it is. Um, but I could only find the mini from the shop that I normally buy my decks from. Um, but I want the... <laughs> I want. That sounds so... <laughs> I want no I would like I would like to have the full size one because the guidebook is in it whereas this one it has no guidebook as far as I remember looking into it but I love this animal deck oh my gosh it is one of my favorites one of my favorite favorite animal decks I'm not saying a lot because I have the Colette Baron Reed one which is a stunning deck it is stunning and I have the Stacey DeMarco one but this is my favourite. I love the simplicity. I love them. And this is just. But I feel like I connect more. Because these animals are more. Kind of connected to here. Where I'm from. As such. Okay well we wouldn't have boars here now. But like salmon. And goat. Crane. Yeah there's a river that I have to pass to get into my town. That I occasionally see a crane in. Squirrels. You know, so these are kind of more relatable to me. More so than, let's say, for example, like elephants and tigers and lions. And yes, what I love the energy of all that. But they're not ones that I would see a whole pile either. Now, I wouldn't see a bear here. There's no bears here. Wild, anyway, in Ireland. I'd be kind of terrified if there was. But for the most part, or hummingbirds, but for the most part. These are animals that I can kind of go, oh yeah, I get. I love that pink card. <laughs> but yeah, that's the winter seer animal. And I don't know why I'm just showing you the white space, but they're they're so pretty. Please thank you so much for hanging out with me and looking at some of the decks that I've I have crushes on right now. They are just wonderful decks. I highly recommend that you go check them out if you don't have them. And let me know in the comments below what decks are you crushing on right now and why. Thank you so much again and I hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll chat to you all in the next video. Bye guys.